Simon and brothers, my name is Vinny Camilleri. I'm one of the moderators in the group. Today I'm going to be looking at aspect ratios using Final Cut Pro X. Okay, so on Instagram you can either have square or the full sized screen. So I've got, I'm going to go to new, uh, new project, and then I'm going to change the size of the aspect ratio. You can see this it's always default in 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to click on custom and then I'm going to change the this to 1080. I'll leave that as 1080. So it's 1080 by 1080, 24 frames per second. And that's going to be a square. So you can make a post to Instagram in this aspect ratio as long as it's under one minute. And let's use IGTV, then you can do it. Uh, for a lot longer okay so I've dragged a clip into the timeline and you can see that it's in landscape mode so essentially we've got landscape in the middle and on the top and bottom we've got the black lines now there's a couple of things you can do you can click on fill and that will fill the whole screen however if I zoom out and click on transform transform you'll see that we're losing everything inside there we, we've lost you know, on either side so if we drag it to uh, drag it to the right you can see all that that we've lost and drag it to the left you can see all that so put it back in the middle so if you've got something you filmed it, it and it, you think it's too late then you can still use it but that's what you're going to get so is there an alternative way to you know work around this uh, yeah there is it's not uh, fantastic but we'll just if you've already filmed in this aspect ratio like landscape is what this is the only thing you can do so i'm going to change this to 1080 by 1920 which is your IGTV aspect ratio. And yeah, story mode. So, as you can see, on here, we've lost a lot, you know, of the picture. Uh, if I zoom out, zoom out again, I click on transform, you can see how much we've lost, look at all that, on either side. So, what can we do? There's one little thing we can do. What I have been seeing is a lot of people's posts is um, just the... He doesn't say. I'll show you now, just bear with me. Click that on fit. Zoom to fit, and I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna click on fit. Right, this is the kind of post that a lot of people are posting. Now, it's okay. You can see the, the video, you know, you have to squint a little bit, but you can see it, it's there. So if you've already made a video on this aspect ratio, this is your only option, right? How are we gonna make it look better? If I drag the same piece of film into the timeline and drag it in, so I've got two exactly the same things, yeah? Then I'm gonna click on one of them and I'm gonna detach the audio, because you don't want two audios click on that and I'm going to delete it okay so we've got two of the same picture and it's overlapping each other so where are we going with this I'm going to click on here I'm going to click on transform now I'm going to expand it and you can see it's underneath and you can basically do this with it but what I'm going to do is reset that click on fill so it's just to the top of the lines so your options are this is one so you can have your your film in the middle and as like a zoomed in version underneath it it's okay Goodbye, my love. Uh, sometimes it's a little distracting I think say. so what else can we do with it let's see what we can do okay so what we can do is if we click on here Final Cut Pro X and we type in focus F O C U S and then uh, click and drag that into the 
timeline onto the piece of film underneath. And now what I'm going to do is take up the focus and make it more soft to take the edge off it so it's not such a distraction, okay? So now we've got something where our eyes are drawn to the middle of the screen and instead of looking at just um, a black blank space behind, we've now got a zoomed in picture of what we've got and uh, it looks a bit nicer. So what else can we do? We can add things on it to make it look a little bit more interesting. So I'm just going to drag in some text. This is uh, just custom text, nothing too flashy. And then I'm going to either double click here or I can click here, select it and then type what I want to type. So I'm going to type, say, it's just an example of uh, 15 percent discount okay take that down a little bit in size and then I'm going to click and drag that down a little bit and next I'm going to find one of the beard struggles and um, PNG files of the white logo and it's the one where it just says the beard struggle the beard struggle that's right that was uh, me singing that song so let's place that on the timeline and then I think I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so it's inside the actual frame and then I'll drag that up so we can fill this space. Honestly guys, the, the possibilities are endless. This is just a, a little example of what you can do to make things look a little nicer. So I'm gonna track this at the beginning and then I'm gonna track it all the way to the end. Now, I want it so where the pic when the picture fades out, that goes as well. Because otherwise you're just gonna be stuck with that the beard sugar at the top at the end of the film it won't look so good so you need to make it look good okay yep happy with that i'm just gonna drag that down just a little bit so it's a bit more centered yeah nice one that's looking good right what else can we get in there one of the PNG files, I think. Um, well, actually, let me just do this. If I press Alt and C and Alt and V, and it's just going to copy that text, and then I'll type in use code and maybe just look for a different font. So it's just slightly different. Take the size down. And then use discount at checkout okay still so what I want to do essentially is get the code underneath it so I'm just going to drag this PNG file that I have of a dotted rectangle I don't think it's actually quite a perfect rectangle I'm sure there's some little slants to this but I found this on the internet um, I'm just going to change the level of it to make it stand out a bit so if I go up to where the colours are, I might have to uh, make it brighter. That might change it because I want it to be like white. So it's the same as everything else. So there's a bit of a uniformity to everything. That should work. Disco. Yeah, okay. Um, right, so now all I need to do is get my code in there. So, I'm going to copy the text and then just type in code Vinny15. And then just, just need to drag this down inside the box now. And we're 
remember, guys, if there's anything else that you might find helpful, drop a comment and I'll see if I can put something together. And uh, I'll see if I can make a little video for you to help and guide you on the way. So I've got that in the center ish. And it looks like that the that needs to be moved. It's not centered the bars around it. So I'll just drag that to the right a little bit because it probably didn't go in the center before. Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So this is a uh, good render and uh, it did actually render it took about 10 minutes to render and this is what the finished thing is going to look like I'll just take that to the beginning right so what I need to do now is that now that I know that I'm, I'm happy with this I'm going to drag everything else in line with the Beard Struggle logo so it carries on through the whole of the um, the section that I want it to because otherwise it will just be on for like a couple of seconds and go off again so this is how you do that yeah so you're just literally hovering over until uh, these bars appear and then you click down and you drag it all the way to the other side this is just like you know your basic kind of editing here nothing too fancy it's just trying to make something look good. So here we go. There's the the finished um, item. So you're still looking in the middle. You've still got the film going on behind it. It's blurred out. It's softer. Um, but it just doesn't... It looks a lot better than just having nothing else, just the film in the middle. And then, obviously, you can add anything on top of that. And in this case, we've added the beard struggle lower at the top. 15 percent discount and um, another text saying use code at checkout then we added the PNG file as the bars and then a code um, in the middle I've done the code a different color so it stands out just a little bit we could have put loads of effects on it made it uh, bold and 3d and that kind of stuff but this is just a quick basic uh, video to show you now I mean we can also take the um, just to give you a demonstration, if I press V on that button file, you'll see that I've took out that underlay film, and that's what it would look like without that. So I mean, that still looks good. You could still have that. Put this back on. Um, it's just an example of you know what you can do. You, know, you can also uh, turn down the, the focus or turn the focus off and just have the film on. The possibilities rendered. So that was just a quick example how to make something look better if you've already made your film but you haven't done it in the full aspect ratio um, required so guys i hope that helped you and you understood that if you've got any queries or questions leave a comment below and i'll get back to you all right guys and um, go create remember help each other guide each other support each other and i'll see you on the ice nice one fellas